Hi, welcome to Hikate's Crossing. Okay, one thing I like doing is when I when I get a deck, like for example the Elemental Wisdom Tarot, is to actually do the Fool's Journey. Now let me explain what a little bit about this, what this is. Now this, what I do is I take example the Major Arcana, which I'm going to do in this case, and I look at the Fool and I describe what he's wearing, who he, what's he doing, etc. And I go through and let him meet or talk about how he meets each of the characters through the cards. So this will take a little while. So let's begin with the full. Okay, take a moment, take a deep breath, and you visualize the full stepping out of the void into the path onto a cliff you can see him wearing a pointed hat jester like clothing he's blowing a trumpet got rattles in his hand he's standing on the edge of a cliff balancing he's got a dog who's leaning up against him or, le or leaning beside him leaning beside him should i say or Got his leg up in, one leg up in the air as he blows the trumpet. So he's ready to begin his journey. Okay, the first thing he does, he meets the magician. He sees the magician with a table full of tools. The tools include a goblet, a disc with a pentagram on it, a pentacle on it, a wand, and a sword. He's standing between some reddish curtains. So he looks like he's levitating his tools. He's creating an illusion, what he expects others to see. The message the, mes the message the magician gives to the fool is about using your skills and abilities and your tools to manifest what you desire. Maybe it's time to look beyond the illusion. Okay, so he's spoken to the magician and he moves on. And he sees a woman in the garden between two pillars. She's holding a book. She's surrounded by red flowers. She has an air of sacredness about her. Spirituality. She reminds the fool. There are times when it's best to stay silent. There are times when it's, you use that knowledge that comes from within, from your own experiences. To move ahead on the journey. Next he visits the Empress. The Empress he sees in the garden. She's surrounded by grass, by what looks like wheat. Grass and wheat. She's underneath a tree. She's holding a, a scepter in a, a spectre in her hands. A wand of some sort. She has a shield leaning below her. Her dress is green and she's got gold and reddish colour cloak about over her. She sits with abundance, bringing things into fruition. She reminds the fool that motherhood can come in many forms. She could, and it's really important to take care of self, not just as others. Next, he meets the emperor who stands regal and strong. He's a leader, he's in power. And he reminds the fool that it's about being in control, being a provider, being a father figure to those around him. To his people. Next he sees the Hierophant. 
the Hierophant speaks of things in a traditional way. Thinks of be of beliefs and faith. He speaks of learning and studying and developing one's own spirituality. Next he come across the lovers. The lovers are naked, holding each other with an apple in front, seems to be surrounded by apples and fruit and leaves and nature. So it talks about a relationship, being intimate, being honest within that relationship, finding balance, being able to make wise choices within the relationship as well. Next, he come across as the chariot, the driver, the chariot driver, who actually has two, two dogs, two huskies, wrapped um, in the, for the sled. They're moving ahead in direction with focus. So moving ahead to, to have be successful with focus. Next, he comes along, he sees a woman. And she's bare. She's also naked with a lion who has felt tame. So she's taming the wild side. Maybe she has that courage and that strength, that inner strength. To deal with the wild lion. She reminds the fool how important it is to have courage to move ahead. Next he meets the hermit. The hermit shows his lantern so the fool knows that even though this journey might be arduous, there might be lessons to learn, he might be in isolation. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel. There's always lightness shining out of the dark. If only he can search and look for it. Next is the Wheel of Fortune. It goes round and round and round. It reminds the bull that life is full of choices. That you can choose to let life dictate you. Or you can take action to make the life that you want. Next he sees justice. She's blinded, holding a sword and scales. She speaks of the truth. She speaks of consequences through action. She reminds the fool that there might be times in his life when legalities, legal issues will come up and need to be dealt with with honesty, with integrity, reminds the fool that he needs to find equilibrium through his life. Next he come across a man hanging upside down from a tree. You can see that he's looking at things from a fresh perspective, the fool, the fool th thinks to himself. The man, the hanged man, looks at the fool and says to him, be careful what you sacrifice in life. Be aware. Is it of value to your journey? Does it allow you fresh perspectives, enabling you to look at things from a different way, different angle, and allow you many options to move ahead in your life? Next, the fall comes upon death. The death tells us that things are ending, but with the ending comes transformation and changes. There are changes in one's life if they are ready to step ahead through the darkness into the light. The fool realises he's half, he's over halfway through his journey. He's gained a lot of knowledge and yet he knows he has so much more ahead of him. He comes across the beautiful temperance. She's standing in the forest, surrounded by night and day, with butterflies, with nature. She reminds the fool of his emotions. She reminds him not to be in excess, to stay in moderation, to remember 
what lies ahead could be dangers. The devil arrives, chained with this chained woman, chained person. He holds a wooden staff. He has a slave and he reminds the fool that your addictions can be your, or your habits, your bad habits, repeated patterns can be a slave. You can be a slave to your patterns, repeated patterns, slave to your addictions, slave to those things that don't serve you well. And you've got a chance. The fool has a chance to break free from those chains. And when he breaks free, his world feels like it's crumbling down, feels like everything's in doom and gloom. It feels like everything's been shattered. But he has a new understanding. He has the sleep of faith to know that soon he may stand on solid ground. That things can be rebuilt the way that he chooses to. He comes across the star. The star reminds him that there is light within the darkness. The emotions can be released and let go so that his wishes and dreams can come true. Next, the moon. The moon arrives. It shines bright. It speaks of cycles and walking into the unknown. The unknown lies ahead. But yet, all is possible. His dreams can become possible when moving through the cycles of time. Next, there's a child sitting on the floor with red ribbons. The sun shining with sunflowers on the, in the field. The sun reminds the fool of allowing a sense of happiness and joy. Things being vulnerable, being exposed to the world in new ways. Next we have judgment. Where, thing, where you can be resurrected to a new you, a new path. A new possibility, a spiritual awakening, a development within oneself. This journey has been long and arduous. There's been lots to learn and lots to release and let go. Lots of knowledge to gain. And so the fool arrives at the world. He sees this woman wrapped in multicolored ribbons. She has the world in her hands as she has left behind the past, achieved the results that she desires, and moved on to new possibilities. That is the Fool's journey with the Elemental Wisdom Tarot. Don't forget to check the link down below, check the links on my channel, like, subscribe and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Take care and bless the food.